Welcome to week eight of second grade e-learning. This week's learning will focus on line plots. Line plots are used to represent measurement data. The data is displayed over a number line, which may not always start at zero. One X is made for each piece of data. Also included in the display should be a title and a label showing the units used to measure. The three steps for this week's learning are shown. Make sure your child feels comfortable with the learning in step one before moving on to step two and comfortable with step two before progressing to step three. A few weeks ago, students completed a week of measurement. In step one, students will use that prior learning to measure objects to the nearest inch or centimeter. The two tasks included are measuring pencils and measuring ribbons. Both tasks should be saved for steps two and three. The data for step, from step one will be used to create the line plots in step two and to answer the questions in step three. In the game for step one, students will cut apart the boxes and place the measurements face down in a pile. On each turn, draw one card from the pile. Both players try to find an object with that length. The first player to find an object with that length earns one point. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. In step two, students will create line plots. On the line plot shown, they will use the measurements from step one's measuring pencils task. The shortest pencil is one inch long, and the longest pencil is seven inches long. These should be the endpoints of the number line. Students fill in the rest of the numbers between one and seven, and then place one X for each pencil measurement. The first pencil measured seven inches, then two inches, four inches, six inches, and so on until the line plot is complete with all measurements. The game for this step and for step three is called Data and Line Plot Match. It is played like last week's game from step one. Students will cut apart the boxes and lay them face down in an array. On a player's turn, they turn over two cards. If the data and line plot match, they keep the card. If the data and line plot do not match, they turn the cards back over. On this turn, the two cards match. The data matches the X's that are on the line plot, so the player gets to keep those two cards and take an additional turn. In the final step, students will answer questions about the data on line plots. What is the length of the longest pencil? Seven inches. What is the length of the shortest pencil? One inch. What is the most common pencil length? Four inches, since most pencils measured four inches long. How many pencils were two inches long? For this question, students need to count the data points one, two, three, four above the two inch measurement. To practice using the new learning in real life, let your child measure things around the house and create a line plot, line plot to display the data. Then come up with questions to ask about the data. Two examples are given, measure shoe lengths to the nearest inch or centimeter, and the lengths of family member names. Also included in this week's packet is a fluency game. This week, students will be working with even and odd numbers. The first card shows 11 ducks. After pairing the du ducks up in twos, there is one duck left over. This makes 11 an odd number, so that card is given to Farmer Odd. The second card shows six turkeys. Since the turkeys can all be paired up evenly, this card goes to Farmer Even, showing that six is an even number. Remember to visit smassmarts.com for helpful information and videos. 
Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for the latest updates to the website. Have a great week of e-learning.